Hey, how's it going everybody? So today I'm going to bring, bring the science to the opal world and what I've done is tested five polishing powders. You can see them in the opposite corner of the screen over here, so these ones just here. So I tested these five through the machine you can see on screen here. So the left hand side picture here, if you can see my cursor, that's the entire unit. It is a pretty big unit, it takes up a room on its own and I manage this system and yeah, just out of Curiosity, we, when I restarted the system, I gave these five polishing powders here a quick little scan through it. And on the right hand side picture here, you can see the actual internals. And I won't go into the deep science behind it. All you can see at the front here, this bit here, this is just a little robot that picks up the samples and puts them in there, just so that I don't have to do it individually. So this is a life changer. Over here, on the left hand side you can see that's the x-ray generator, we're shooting x-rays, hits the sample here, goes up, detector, both of these two move in unison upwards, so we measured the data, the angle and the intensity of the signal at the other end, and we end up getting some plots, so this is where we'll start. So on this screen right here you can see two different coloured, two different coloured plots, now this is for two different samples, this one here so this is an aluminium oxide, it's a science grade aluminium oxide, really good for polishing magnets and lenses. And then the other one, so yellow microcerium oxide is this little yellow pouch here that was sent to me by a viewer quite a long time ago. Now I'm very certain that these are both aluminium oxide and cerium oxide, one because I can match it with the database, two because I just trust the source and you can see here the blue. So this blue has all of these peaks and it's kind of it's kind of like a human fingerprint. This enables us to be able to tell what the material is. And then you can see that the gray gray one here is completely different. So these major peaks are nowhere near it. So you can see that it's quite easy to tell apart aluminum oxide and cerium oxide. Now, I got some really weird and interesting results from some of these. So I'll bring up another set now. Now here I've changed the plot so the black light is secret polish, no longer a secret, that's this one here. I measured this and as you can see it is pretty much spot on with the yellow cerium oxide just here. So it's definitely a cerium oxide, don't worry about the peak shifting, I just took this data completely raw, I didn't want to process it, these were just quick 7 minute scans to make sure the system was working well, so my researchers could actually get good data. And you can see here that it's pretty spot on. The orange one actually has a lot of additional little peaks, which I found pretty interesting. So there is a bit of an impurity in the black light of secret polish in comparison to the yellow off-coloured kind of serum oxide here. So the micron, micro serum oxide. Now I can just quickly change to another set. Alright, now I've changed it up so that we're comparing the black light of secret polish here, the big white pouch with the first cerium oxide I used, so that's this pink optical grade stuff, really cheap and surprisingly nasty, but you can see here that their peaks are almost identical, so almost exactly the same. Now the only real difference is the sharpness of a lot of these peaks, and you can see that the black lighter's polish has much stronger sharper peaks, so that makes me think that it is of a finer grain, so this system loves to have really fine powders, like on the very low micron level. Whereas this is quite coarse, and I always found that this cerium oxide I had to work with pretty thick, with less water, and then slowly over time it started getting a really good polish, whereas the black lighters one is really fast, and I think it is just because it's a smaller particle size. But you can see here, the same impurities really exist within both of these as opposed to the yellow serum that we saw before, which was really clean serum oxide signals. So it's actually really interesting that both of these are showing, I expected this to have a lot more impurities and a lot more random signals, but the black lighter's polish actually has all of them and possibly even some more, though you can't really call these tiny ones down here a peak, because this was a 7 minute scan and that is flying. If it was publishing publishing kind of work, you'd be looking more like an hour or even up to three and a half hours for a scan of this size. So it is a quick and nasty little scan just to test to see that the system was working still. But 
We also found a very unusual signal for this one up here. So this is listed as a nano cerium oxide. So I'll switch over to that now. Now you can see here, this white nano cerium oxide is the yellow, yellow signals. Whereas this yellow cerium oxide is all of these gray signals. And there is a huge difference. Now this is a clear difference in terms of what the powder is actually made out of, meaning that this nano cerium oxide is not even cerium oxide at all. So you'd, I wondered what was it? And I noticed looking at another data set with this aluminium oxide here, these two are an exact match. So the, the viewer that sent me this, I already let him know that it isn't actually cerium oxide, it's an aluminium oxide. And it's just being sold as a finer grain, grain size cerium oxide, which they charged a premium on. And that's pretty reasonable because aluminium oxide is more expensive than cerium oxide anyway. But it is interesting that they mislabeled it. And yeah, XRD, XRD doesn't lie. So definitely not cerium oxide. I'm gonna change the labeling on this bag to make sure it says aluminium oxide because it is 100% without a, without a doubt aluminium oxide. Both of these two are exactly the same. These three here are definitely cerium oxides. Surprisingly, the black light is secret polish, which is a cerium oxide now. And my really old optical grade pink cerium oxide very similar signals, very similar impurity signals. Whereas this yellow, yellow one from China, this is actually surprisingly much cleaner than the white one, which I'm actually quite surprised with. So yeah, that's a quick little investigation. Um, I do this because I am licensed to use the instrument. I maintain it and look after it. Actually, if I switch to an ugly shot of my face. Over my shoulder here, you can see, that's my little uh, PhD certificate. I just uh, strung it up before this video because it's been sitting on the shed floor back over there for, well, the year or so that I've already had it in my hands. I just couldn't find a spot to hang it. And I said, whatever, temporary hooks, it's going up. So yeah, that's why I do this kind of work. This is kind of more like my day job. And yeah, maybe when the, when I'm testing a few machines, rather than using some boring standards, I might play with a few Opal related things and get some interesting data. Variety is the spice of life and sometimes you're yeah, looking at the same standard signals is kind of pretty boring. So I like to mix it up a little bit. And yeah, it's turned out quite quite interesting. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting such strange, strange results, but yeah. Blacklight is secret polish, no longer a secret polish. It is a cerium oxide, a finer grain than the optical grade. So that's good. It's better than optical grade. I'd be, I'd be guessing at the size. XRD doesn't, isn't great at telling you the size. It can kind of indicate whether something's smaller or larger, but it's definitely smaller size. I'll have to use something else that I don't have in the lab, unfortunately, to measure that size. And yeah, sometimes products are mislabeled and Aluminium oxide is sold as higher grade serum oxide. So pretty unusual, but they're my findings. A tiny bit of science, we're just testing the waters. You guys said that you wanted to hear, see more of my science related stuff and I can make the two worlds kind of mesh together. So hopefully that's a good little taste of what's to come. If it's received pretty well, I, I do have quite a, few, quite a few plans surrounding a bit of more scientific analysis and a bit more of a scientific method and approach to testing out some of the some of the things we do with Opal. So hopefully that was enjoyable and I will see you in the next video where I'll probably be carving something. Catch you then.